Assalamualaikum and hi everyone So for this video, we are going to learn probability Lecture 1 of 3, part 2 So basically this video is all about Find the probability of an event So for example 4 in your lecture notes It's given that find the probability of getting ahead When you flip a coin So we know coin have two surface Which is the sample space is H and T so the probability of getting ahead so we uh, denote it as an event A so A is an event of getting ahead so the question asks for a probability so probability of A is 1 over 2 Okay, next we want to find the probability of obtaining a number greater than 4 on a single toast of die. So when we roll a die, we kita baling die do, the sample space is we have the result 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So we denote the event as E. You can choose any uh, alphabet. But choose the easier one. So we name it as an event of getting a number greater than 4. Okay, so number greater than 4, we can see that greater than the word greater than means that 4 is not included. So we have 5 and 6. So the probability of getting a number greater than 4 is 2 out of 6. So simplify your answer, you will get 1 over 3. So remember to always simplify your answer. Okay, next we have example 6. So the probability that a student is late for school is 1 over 4 for each day. Okay, find the probability that the student is not late for school. So given here is the probability of uh, a student is late for school. So we name it an event of L. So event that student is late for school so we know that probability is 1 over 4 but that is not what the question asks the question asks for the student is not late which is the complement event so the probability of L prime is we took 1 minus 1 over 4 so we will have 3 over 4 as the answer Okay, example 7 okay, By using Venn diagram So there are 100 matriculation students Of whom 20 are studying mathematics 15 are studying economics And 8 are studying both mathematics and economics So firstly, you need to illustrate this in a Venn diagram So the question asks you to do the Venn diagram So before we do the Venn diagram We need to do we need to name the event. So M is referred to event of student studying mathematics. Okay, so M for mathematics and then E for economics. Event of student studying economics okay now so we have a Venn diagram so there are can add the intersection because it said that it are studying both mathematics and economics so from this statement okay every time you dapat so Alan, always 
uh, bila nak buat Venn diagram, always label yang intersection dulu. So, eight are studying both mathematics and economics. So, we label in the middle is eight. Okay, so this is event M. This is E. And then S is for sample space. Okay, so it say here, 20 are studying mathematics. So, in this circle, in this uh, M circle, so we already have 8. So, what you need to write inside here is 20 minus 8, which is we have 12. Okay, 12 students studying only mathematics and not economics. Okay, so for this circle, for economic circle, it say in the question 15 are studying economics. So, what we should put in here is 15 minus 8 which is you will get 7 ok so now look at the first word the first sentence there are 100 matriculation students so uh, another than 12, 8 and 7 outside that does not study mathematics and economics you can take outside here you can take 100 minus 12, minus 8, minus 7 and then you will get 73 ok so this is your Venn diagram the first part and then so alam B ok the question asks you to find the probability of student studying mathematics or economics so you need to find the probability of M union E uh, we can uh, find the probability of students studying mathematics or economy just by look at uh, by look at the Venn diagram. So we can say that student that study mathematics or economy is twelve plus eight and then plus seven because it say or or means that all M and E inside this one. Okay, so you need to add up all this one to find the probability. Okay, and then divide it by the sample space is 100. Number of sample space 100. So you can get the answer is 27 over 100. Or you can give your answer in, for the, in the form of fraction or in the form of decimal. Just give either one lah. Okay, so the next one, question C. The question asks you to find the probability the student is not studying mathematics or economics. Maksudnya, dia tak study mathematics dan juga dia tak study economics. So, we can see that probability of M, union E, bar. Selain daripada tu, so kalau ikut dalam formula, we can see that 1 minus 27 over 100. So, you can get the answer is 73 over 100. So, this is by using the formula. If you look at your Venn diagram, we can see that 73 here is student that are not studying uh, mathematics nor economics. Okay, example 8. Okay, by using the three diagram. Given that a coin is toast twice, so dia bagi kita shilling and kita kena toast dua kali. So, by using a three diagram, find the probability of getting two tail. So, before we find the probability, we need to do the three diagram. So, we start our three diagram. Okay, for the first toast, Kita akan dapat either head or tail. So, ini untuk the first toes. Okay, so the probability of getting head is 1 over 2. And tail also 1 over 2. So, 2 untuk the first toes. And then, untuk second toes, we also can get head or tail. So, the probability is still the same, 1 over 2 and 1 over 2. So, if we have tail on the first toes, on the second toes, we can have head or tail. So, 
So 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So the probability, we write it on the branch. Okay. And then, apa yang kita kena lengkapkan lagi adalah dia punya sample point. Which is HH, HT, TH or TT. So this is our result, our outcome. And then, the probability. Okay, in the previous lecture, it's not that. Uh, to find the probability, you need to multiply the branch. Okay, the first branch, HH ni, we need to multiply 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. And then you can get 1 over 4. And then you repeat for the second branch, which is HT. So, sama juga 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, you can have 1 over 4. And the third branch is 1 over 4. And the last branch is 1 over 4. So, to check whether your probability is right or wrong, if you add up this all probability, okay, so you can get 1. Okay, so we know from the previous lecture, the total probability is 1. Okay, so now we can answer the question for part A. So, the probability of getting two tails. So, maksudnya, probability of getting two tails. You can have TT. So, from the tree diagram, we can say that the probability is uh, 1 over 4. So, this is the probability of getting two tails. Okay. Which is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. 1 over 4. So, we uh, multiply around the, along the branch. Okay. For the second one, part B. So, the question asks you to find the probability of getting a head on the first coin. Okay. On the first coin, we get a head. So, you can have whether head head or head tail so the first coin must be head so we can have 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 which is 2 over 4 equal to 1 over 2 ok always simplify your answer ok question C at least one head so if we look at the solution at least one head means that you can have it can have more lah. So you can have HH, HT, TH. Oh, so TT ni tak boleh sebab dia bukan head. Okay. So soalan C. So probability of HH plus HT plus TH. So 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. So the total is 3 over 4. Okay, the next example, example 9. Okay, by using graph. Okay, two dice are two. So, kita ada dua dadu dan kita baling. So, find the probability that the sum of the first, two, uh, the sum of two number is eight. Okay, and then find the probability the sum of two number is prime number. So, first kita buat dia punya graph dulu. Okay. So, the two dice so dice one and then dice two so dice are the six numbers one two three four five six okay so dekat persilangan ni kita tulis the sum of the two numbers so the first one uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 and then 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4 and then you complete uh, this graph lah 5, 6 ok, so bila dah complete ok, kita check balik kita nak the sum of two number is 8 so, kita labelkan dia punya event as A. Sum of two number is 8. Okay. So, the sample space is. Okay, kita tengok kita punya uh, graph. 
Ok sum of the two numbers is 8 Kita ada berapa So This part So The sample space is Ok so okay, we can have a 6 2 and then 5 3 4 4 and then 3 5 then juga 2 6 so this is the sample space for A not sample space this is A event A so the probability of A is 1 2 3 4 5 5 over 36 ok mana yang kita dapat 36 ni so you have learned how to find the total outcomes from the previous uh, video so the total outcomes is ok the outcome uh, when the first dose of dice is 6 ok you times by the second dice 6 you can have 36 outcomes number of sample space is 36 ok if you count in this graph point kita ada 36 result lah ok and then question B we name it as B lah the sum of two number is prime number still remember prime number start from uh, what number 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11 so kita tengok dekat kita punya graph and then kita highlight kan so 2 is prime number 3 and then 5 and then 7 dan juga 11 so you can list down all the event so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 15 so dekat sini you sambung lah so we can have 1, 1 and then 2, 1 and then uh, 2, 1 1, 2 and so on so you buat sendiri this one macam mana yang kita buat dekat soalan A so you list down sendiri and then we can see that it has 15 over 36 and then it can be simplified you can have 5 over 12 so this should be your final answer ok so this is the end of lecture 1 of 3 we will continue for the lecture 2 of 3 in the next video. So thank you for listening.